What is up party people? It is about 4.30 in the morning and we're headed from here in Kuala Lumpur to Manila. So going back to the Philippines. So in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about travel. <laughs> travel in Southeast Asia and what it's like to go through uh, customs and immigration and all the new regulations and apps and things you have to fill out. Um, and my general level of um, anxiety, I guess. And um, what <laughs> some of the things that have happened throughout the last few days. So basically guys, um, I got some real world first-hand knowledge of what it's like to go through several countries in in the uh, in the region and um what i could tell you is it's easy and it's hard at the same time part of the problem is figuring out all the different um, things that the countries need and um you know chrissy and i do have a vaccination card and um so in a couple instances they didn't even look at that. Actually, one instance, I think that was Singapore. They just, they, um, then, no, when I, we got on the flight, they looked at that. And um, so that was a requirement for check-in. But when we actually got to the immigration, they didn't ask us anything about, about it. They just, uh, I guess it's the kind of the gate agent's responsibility to take care of that. So. Going into Singapore, I guess I'll kind of lead into it now and talk about it first. Um, extremely easy. There was a little bit of a line. I think it took us 20 or 30 minutes to get through immigration. So really, really not, not very long. And um, you have some, some things you have to fill out on an app before you enter the country. So Singapore, really easy in and out. Um, used to be extremely easy. Now it's just easy. Um, I did have some issues leaving the country, not that there was any issues of Philippines, um, but um, just hadn't been through that process with my new permanent residency visa. So coming into Malaysia here, Kuala Lumpur, uh, extremely easy. There's, there's an app. I'll show you what the app looks like now. And uh, so there's this app. And you fill that thing out, and when you get to the uh, get to the counter, <clears throat> all that information is already in the system. Not one time did anyone leaving Singapore coming into Kuala Lumpur, or um, when I came through immigration, uh, ask to see my card, uh, my VAX card. That was, and they weren't looking for anything else. Now I was also checking in all the way through the Philippines. So when I got to Singapore, I was also checking into the Philippines. This Kuala Lumpur is just a, a quick stop for us. So um, being a permanent resident, I didn't have to show a return ticket out of the country of the Philippines. Like most people, tourists that come in there, they have to have something out in, I think, 30 or 60 days. You guys can look that up. And um, depending, I think, on your country that you come from. And uh, so I didn't need that. And uh, I did have the vaccination card they checked at the airport. And also um, they wanted to see my ACR I card, which is kind of like a green card for the Philippines. So um, when they asked for my return ticket, because I'm a white dude, they just assumed that I'm a tourist. And um, so that's one thing that I learned about my new permanent residency card is that when people see me, they think of, okay, here's a white guy going to visit and um, so he's just a tourist. And um, so you have to kind of let people know that, hey, um, I have that permanent residency. So um, that won't apply to most of you, but um, it does to me. And um, so the process of checking into the flight to the Philippines, super easy. So we're gonna find out today um, <laughs> in this video, what it's like to re-enter the Philippines. So I got a feeling of what it's like to do it in other countries, and we're gonna we're gonna get a um, a firsthand view of 
2022 June, what it's like to enter the Philippines. So, wow, you're amazing. I know, right? How was your sleep last night? It was okay. Hope I'm still sleepy. Yeah, you look sleepy. But it doesn't matter. You look like you just woke up. <laughs> what are you wearing? That's like three sizes too big for you. So you know what's crazy about you, Chrissy? What? Why is it that? What? Why is it that I can? I'm three times your size. My clothes should be three times as big, but you have three times as many things. Riddle me this. Don't understand if you're going to be okay with me. I, yeah. So in other countries, do you think in English or do you think in uh, Bisaya? <laughs> what happened, you weirdo? Okay, I thought it was straight. how was your Malaysia immigration experience? It was. It wasn't straight. Straight. Real easy. Easy to get through, guys. You happy? Going back to Philippines. sure if these shops are empty for any reason other than it being 4.30 in the morning. Not sure about that one right there. Did you get the Dorian chocolate? I did not because I have no money. You have no money? What did you get? You're such a consumer. I don't know. It's um dried mango from Singapore, Malaysia, I mean. Yeah? You got dried mango but not Dorian chocolate? That was a Dorian chocolate, really? Over here, yeah. You missed it. Oh, I didn't know. Alright, let's go to the gate. Let's go. Is it free taste? Try, please. Oh, We're gonna try the durian chocolate. Really? Yeah. Just try, please. Let me try it too. Oh. That's a negative. <laughs> it's like if somebody farted in your mouth, but if but you had a waxy texture. You're going to, you're going to have um, bad mouth. Yeah, I'm gonna breathe all over you. Yeah. I've never seen anyone eat a Kit Kat like that. You're definitely a weirdo. Thank you. I think I am. It's not how you eat a Kit Kat. Oh. I just break it. Yeah. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Sama, sama. Sama, seperti kemarin. Sama, sama. What's the difference between getting your antigen there and just getting it here? Ask your country, Chrissy. Okay. 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 So I was told if I don't sign the paperwork and do the list of demands and find a place, I'll go to immigration jail. So there you go. Welcome to the Philippines. So Chrissy and I are trying to find a quarantine hotel. The problem is, is that no one's doing quarantine hotels anymore because quarantine stuff is over. So all the hotels have pretty much shut down their quarantine facilities. And um, we're trying to find one. <laughs> it's a total clown show. 
and uh, I've never seen Chrissy so upset. Well, it's, it's good to see Chrissy laughing again. So we met yeah, two friends in the exact same position that we're in. Yeah. So we're not alone and we're rejecting the quarantine. <laughs> so we're doing this, we're in this together. We're, what is your name? Uh, my name is Ai. Ai, where do you live? Are you, are you from the Manila area? Yeah, I'm from here. Cool. Uh, we have Ai and we have... Nika. Nika. Now, I don't know this. Are you guys friends? We are best friends. Best friends, BFFs. Yeah. All right. Since college. So, oh, really? How long ago was that? A couple years ago? Oh, 10 years ago. You look so young. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, so we we just saw a group of doctors get stuck and sent to quarantine. So we're not the we're not the only people. Yes. But where what what was the problem with with what happened? Well, I believe they let them in. As one of the I don't know. No, no, the, you guys. What happened? Oh. Well, That's we can't be problem. able to um can be able to exit the, the immigration today. It's because of our requirements. They, it's stated that we are failed. We failed to actually complete the requirements. But I'm here, and Chrissy's here, and you guys are here. And I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, we all, we all messed up on the, the the testing requirement, right? Because mm. it's been said that testing is done. I think. Yeah. Except that we had, um, um, but you guys don't have a booster, right? No. Yeah, we're not going to the moon. I don't think we need a booster. <laughs> but the thing is, it's pretty clear in the, you know, the, the, in their instructions. Yeah. Like, yeah, right? The Air Asia just, just fully vaccinated. Yeah. That if you're fully vaccinated, fully vaccinated you don't need to worry yeah. about. You know, you don't need to worry which about Which usually this. fully vaccinated means you've had your two shots, exactly. which all of us have. Yeah, yeah exactly. So they're still holding us, and right now we're in a holding pattern because we're we're saying that the airline didn't they failed because there was like how many checks did they check our documents before we got on the plane? Um, I I, I forgot. You know, like three times, right? Three times, yeah. For yeah, three times. Pass. Like once, everywhere you went, it's like they wanted to see your documents, and then we made it all the way here, and then all of a sudden there's a problem as we got in line. So thank you guys for sharing. And uh, making it was me really bad, bad. make me feel like not so much of an idiot. But it, what what country did you guys go to? And it was pretty easy, wasn't it? Where you guys yeah, went? Singapore. Yeah, Singapore. Singapore it's like walk right in. And then Kuala Lumpur. I don't even think in Singapore they even looked at my my vaccination. They just no, they did not. I think their laws are so strict that if they find out that you broke the law, you're probably going to be in a world of hurt. But anyway, thanks, and we're going to find out what happens to all of us. <laughs> Now they stuck us in this room. Our flight's not for another. Oh, our flight's at 11 p.m. It's now 16, 14, 4 p.m. We have to wait eight hours in here in this room. Fantastic. And the flight costs. On top of the time, our flight was 15,000 pesos to go back. But Chrissy has to get back to her classes. So we don't really have a choice. The time is now 8 p.m. How is immigration jail? Huh? Immigration slash no testing jail. The guards are rocking out. Such a bad it was a bad experience, yeah. especially because it could have been avoided so easily. Well, now we know. And here it is, boys and girls. Our flight back to Kuala Lumpur. Craziest round trip of the day. You got a hot dog? Yeah. Oh, good for you. So Chrissy, what did you learn during this experience? So I'll be honest, I did not learn very much. Me? <laughs> yeah. I did not learn anything. 
the easy lesson would be to say, yeah, it was a lesson in frustration. It is more frustrating in the Philippines. Yeah, it's not more fun in the Philippines. It's more frustrated in the Philippines. So, yes, you it's could so, draw. It's so crazy how how the how that guard got followed us here. It it made it made us look like we're some sort of like criminal. Where they're treating us like deportees. What's that? Like when you get deported from a country. This is really such um. This experience is really. I hate this experience. So. The easy thing to say is, uh, okay, you should have followed the rules better or whatever. <laughs> but and you can make online. a case for that, but online it's like, yeah. oh, fully vaccinated. You get a message from the embassy, now fully vaccinated people can enter, all that kind of stuff. So I it, just, it just, nobody has the booster where we are. Nobody has it. So it's like not a thing. So I don't really think about it. Nobody has it. It's not really offered to anybody. So unless you're like an older person. Yeah. So it's not really a thing in our area. We didn't really think about it. And um, all that we heard is, hey, we're, they're dropping the testing requirement. They're dropping, okay, they're dropping the testing requirement. Plus, I was coordinating for some people that don't normally travel. So I was kind of swamped thinking about everyone else's needs. And we went to three, three countries we had to deal with, right? And it was also our first time leaving the Philippines in a while. I've never left on this visa. I've never come back on this visa. Chris has never traveled. So a lot of moving parts. Normally, I'm used to having to just take care of myself, so that kind of distracted me. Anyway, if the gate agent or the three people that checked us or the four people that checked our paperwork would have stopped us, we could have easily solved this problem by getting tested at the airport. It's not that hard, but I, I, don't, I don't really feel like it's a poorly planned operation. Just you hear buzzwords like... Um, fully vaccinated can travel no test all that kind of stuff and you gotta look at the fine print so unfortunately we would have just stayed but Chris is kind of under the what? you gotta get going back to your classes so we gotta go back get the test come right back so it's very expensive uh, <laughs> a very expensive day week and hopefully everyone will watch the advertisements on these videos because we basically uh yeah we spent way too much money anyway it's part of traveling sometimes it really does but we're very thankful that uh people watch us and we're thankful to be able to do this so um trying to be positive about things and not complain too much but philippines is chasing tourists away that's that's basically what it is. I mean, we were not the only person, people in this predicament. Most people opted for the five, um, five-day quarantine. Five quarantine. But um, there were quite a few people, to include medical doctors that were in the line, yeah. that didn't have this thing. So anyway, from uh, Manila, on our way back to Kuala Lumpur, we're going to try and make an adventure out of it. Thanks for watching.